My name is Frank. Welcome to Festool TV. How do I get my fully loaded mobile workshop with all the tools into my van? That's the main question. How do I load my mobile workshop in one go without having to take it all apart? I'll show you how to do that now. First, I'll start with my heavy toolbox. I can put that down. There is this handle at the back. On the handle, there are these plastic parts. When I lay down my mobile workshop on the floor of the van, the plastic parts come into direct contact with the floor. This means no damage is caused to the vehicle. Now I'll lift up the mobile workshop from behind. Then I'll push it into the van until the rollers are in contact with the floor. As you can see, it's no problem and really easy to do. I'll go in and stand the mobile workshop upright. The mobile workshop is upright. Next, we're going to strap it to the board wall. Before I load my mobile workshop into my van and strap it to the board wall, we have to make sure of a few things. Firstly, I've got to put the handle in the upright position. It clicks into place. This ensures that these plastic pieces and the wheels at the back are aligned. This means I can secure it to the board wall in the best possible way. Maybe you're asking yourself why I would even want to secure the mobile workshop to the board wall. Can't I transport it on the floor and strap it in place there? It's important to say here that the handle is not designed to bear the weight of a fully loaded mobile workshop. It is therefore important to transport the mobile workshop upright when fully loaded. It's best to secure it to the board wall. I'll move the mobile workshop backwards. It is now well aligned. I've got my lashing straps, which are common in these vehicles. I'll feed my lashing strap through. taking care to ensure that the strap is well positioned behind the upright aluminium posts. In this way, I have the optimum force acting on the stable posts. This pushes the mobile workshop backwards against the board wall. So, that was the first one. It's holding very well. Now I'd like to attach a second securing strap. This goes from the floor over the table. It's fed in from behind. This ensures that the whole unit is secured in a stable manner in my vehicle. In meinem Fahrzeug verstaut sein. Und it's absolutely secure. Of course, you have to follow the regulations of the country in which you're transporting your mobile workshop. Therefore, you have to choose the lashing points required by law. That's it. The mobile workshop is packed away. I'll see you at the construction site. See you there. How do I get the mobile workshop out of my van? I'll show you now. We'll lay the mobile workshop down on its back. We have to make sure that the wheels are still touching the floor of the van. 
auf dem Boden von meinem Transporter sich befinden. Nun kann I can pull the mobile workshop forward very comfortably. The plastic sliders on the handle ensure that it slides very well. We're slowly setting down the mobile workshop. In this way, there is no contact with any part of the vehicle. Now we can easily stand the mobile workshop upright. I'll put the toolbox on the top and fit it into the right position. Now we're ready to go to the construction site. On the way to the construction site, there are often obstacles to navigate, such as stairs. I'll show you shortly how to do that with our mobile workshop. As you can see, we have very large wheels. They help me easily move the package up the stairs one by one. Let's give it a go. It's working very well. See you later, in a bit. Just like I wanted. I've got everything together in a compact unit. I've got all the tools that I need on the construction site and for assembly work. Later, I'd like to plane and adjust a kitchen worktop. I've got everything I need with me. I can take off my toolbox and put it down. I want to give a quick overview of the mobile workshop's features. In the upper part, we have the MFT plate, like with the MFT table. A V-groove has been routed in the plate. It is excellent for safely placing and securing round wood. The MFT fixing set is a great choice for securing pieces. It contains all the clamping options for use with the MFT table. In this case, I'll use the quick clamp, so that I can comfortably secure and cut the round wood. Of course, we may also have assembly work to do. This includes tightening screws, amongst other things. This is an opportunity to use these boxes. There are small recesses on the top here. My boxes with the screws fit perfectly into them. This is how you can prepare pieces for assembly. My clamp also fits into this profile. You'll be familiar with that already from our MFT table. This enables you to clamp parts all the way around the plate, just like with the MFT table. The MFT clamps are also excellent to use here. At the rear, you can see that there's an additional table. If my workpieces are bigger, I can extend my table. This is how you do it. Firstly, I have to lower the handle, then loosen the strap. Now the locking mechanism is released. The table can only be removed if it's at a certain angle. If it's too upright, it can't be removed. This is because there is a small locking mechanism at the bottom that keeps the table in place. So, I angle the table slightly, then I can remove it. The table has a foot stand, which I can fold out and lock in place. I can attach the table to the V-groove profile using this adapter plate.
I can attach the table to any of the four edges of the mobile workshop. What's great about this table is that I can also be attached to the MFT table from our product range. I'll position the table and push it downwards to lock it in position. If the ground is uneven, I can use the small feet to compensate for this. The maximum weight that the table can bear is around 100 kilograms. So I have a stable surface for all my applications. Here is my kitchen worktop. I'd like to work on it here. I'll put it on the table. As you can see, it's very stable. I'll fix the plate in place using my clamps in the holes. It's very easy to do. I just need to adjust it a bit. In my toolbox, I've got my mobile dust extractor. It's underneath here with its multiple sockets. Underneath that, you can see a nice little drawer. This is where you can store a mini sustainer, for example, for a ratchet. Here is the integrated pull-out drawer. I've got two sustainers here. I have a small cordless drill in one and the Centrotech system in the other. This enables me to fit a kitchen or something similar. So I have everything I need for my assembly work. I'll turn on the small sustainer extractor. We still need our planer. So I've brought the one-hand electronic planer. It's very easy to plug it in. I'm connecting the plug-it cable and the dust extraction. It's working. So let's get started. Safety is paramount, as always. I've got my safety glasses in my small toolbox. What more do you want? We've got a stable workbench. I've got all the machines and tools that I need for my applications. It is all very mobile. I hope you enjoyed the video with the mobile workshop. I hope you'll tune in again. I'm Frank. Thanks for watching. See you next time.